Making his late night debut, please welcome the very funny Jeff Dye! <laughs> So much! What a treat! It's great to be on the Tonight Show. Yes. All right. A um, little about myself. I'm a white guy. Uh, so if you know anything about history, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our bad on all that. Um, what else about me? I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I uh, found out that I have dyslexia back in 2031. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so I'm dumb. Uh, but I am very happy. I'm like the happiest guy I know, and I'm probably happy because I'm dumb. <laughs> right? Every smart person I've ever met seems to be ticked off all the time. Every smart person I know, they seem to be very annoyed and bothered. They think everything's a nuisance. They, they don't have time for anything. I'm starting to think dumb is gooder. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think what it is, is smart people, they put all this learning into their brain, and then they don't know what to do with it, so it frustrates them, so they just walk around grumpy all day, like, global warming, and gluten, and other smart stuff, I don't know what they're thinking about. I know I don't struggle with that at all. <laughs> I'm usually picturing animals wearing clothes, you know? Just happy. My friend's like, what are you laughing about, Jeff? I was like, oh, dogs don't wear rain boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm dumb because my parents are dumb. That's how it happened. My dad came to my mom and he was like, we should have baby. And then my mom was like, baby, okay. And then I came out like, I'm baby. Yeah. At least that's how they explained it to me. I don't know, it's not a long tale. Uh, my dad's actually uh, so dumb, he replies to junk mail. <laughs> now, I wish that was a joke, that's not a joke. We caught him replying to junk mail. We sat him down, we're like, Dad, you don't have to reply to this. It's called spam mail, it goes to millions of people, it's sent by robots, it's not just for you. He's like, oh, I'll take it from here. <laughs> Dear Barnes & Noble, this looks like a great sale, but I'll be out of town on the 23rd. Like, <laughs> you're an idiot. On, uh, on Christmas, he referenced uh, to us that he has a Twitter account. We were like, pause Christmas. <laughs> Show us immediately. And uh, he walks us over to the computer, and sure enough, my dad's been tweeting every day, 10 times a day, for the last year, right? Why didn't we know this? Because he doesn't follow anyone, and no one follows him. <laughs> He's just been shooting this stuff into space. I'm like, Dad, you don't have a Twitter, you have a diary. That's what it says. <laughs> this is just a record of your whereabouts, ding dong. <laughs> My mom and dad are pretty mad at me too that I'm this age and I'm not married yet. Um, but I think I'd be good at getting married. You know, I can watch Netflix and not have sex. Really? <laughs> Heck, I'm already doing it. <laughs> you know? Practice, you know? Uh, I went to a wedding recently and I thought it was very annoying because the guy who talks at the weddings, uh, the guy who has like the square right here, he was like, he kept repeating himself like over and over again. He was trying to explain to us that marriage is two people becoming one, but he kept like just winging it. You know, like it was, he would say it just slightly different. He was like, marriage is two bodies becoming one body. Two hearts becoming one heart. Two souls becoming one. Two households becoming one house. Two entering into one physically and sexually and spiritually and legally. Two walked into this church. Now leave as one. We have two sand vases. We pour the sand into one sand vase because it was two vases, but now one sand vase. We have two stupid candles. We go down, we light one, we blow it out because it was two flames, but now one vase. Like, I got it. I get it. Two, now one. We'll wrap it up, you know? I've got bridesmaids to meet, church man. All right, let's do this. Thank you. <laughs> I will say that, though. If you're married and you now believe you're one, I think that's beautiful. I just don't need to hear it a million different ways. And I do believe if you think you're now one, you should use that to your advantage. Next time you get into a fight with your spouse, you can just look them right in the eyes and go, listen, honey, I don't hate your mom. 
We hate your mom. All right, we're one now. These are our thoughts, okay? Use it for everything. I didn't look at that lady's butt. We looked at that lady's butt. And I wish we wouldn't have, honey, all right? We've been real pervs lately. Don't get me started on our internet history, all right? You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Jeff Guy. 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 Jeff